What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister One is back, and we have got more Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Hope you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far. Let us continue. Captain Mitchell, our situation is this. Two days ago, we lost an RC-12 spy plane down in Nicaragua. It was carrying Guardrail 9, a multifunction Black Ops communications asset. Yesterday, Nicaraguan rebels made contact with a paramilitary group here in Mexico City. We now have SFC Joe Ramirez on the ground. He has confirmed a deal is taking place. We must retrieve the package and get it back to the extraction point. This Black Hawk will be on standby for support and extraction. To repeat, objective one is reach Ramirez's position. Understood. Reach Ramirez's position. Got it, bud. Let's do it. Excellent. Good to have you aboard, Scott. You are now weapons free. As you all know, I do not want to get copyrighted from the music, so hopefully this will do the trick. I don't know 100% uh, for sure, but we're ready to hop into what I guess is considered mission number one. Remember, guys, this is tough. Hopefully you all enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like as well as uh, share the videos, and hopefully you are subscribed. Which highlights it's today's go time. events. The U.S. president has joined the Canadian prime minister and the Mexican president in Mexico City to sign NASJA, the North American Joint Security Agreement, a historic new policy designed to share the political Policing responsibilities along the borders of these three countries and to hopefully curtail the illegal immigration and movement of drugs, weapons, and terrorists in the hemisphere. As part of this groundbreaking agreement, 50 U.S. tanks have been given to the Mexican Army and are now on display at Camp Chapultepec in Mexico City. Confirmation on the package. Looks like they're ready to deal. Copy that, Jose. En route to your position. Ramirez, I need another look at the Mexicans doing the deal. I think I can ID one of them. Video coming at you. I think the guy with the phone is Carlos Otiveros, a student of mine at Winsec. This is not good. First plot is very explanatory. Obviously, we're just going to shoot these guys, but you need to make sure that you're uh, behind cover enough so as they do not get the shot on you. Remember, one shot and you are dead in this game. So uh, let's uh, do a little badass thing here. Boom. I love the little slide that you can do. I mean, it's not practical, as you can see. But it's really fun. Just be careful. I've been made. He looks right at me. I'm on the move. Ramirez, what's your sit rep? Ramirez, respond. Ramirez! Alright, as far as these, we have another three more guys we need to take out, so do it stealthily. Captain, we've lost contact with Ramirez. You are to abort. I'm setting up a rally point. Move! I can reach Ramirez. Negative. Too many hostiles in the target zone. Move to rally point. Roger that. Moving to rally point. Shouldn't be too difficult doing it around this corner. Just slowly kind of make your way and use your ability to aim down your weapon. Headshots will kill them on the first shot. It does take a little time to get used to the controls, but I promise you, you will. It just will take a little time. Ramirez, damn it, Jose, I need a sit rep. Ramirez, do you read? All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick up our squad mates. Remember, we're going to use them a lot, as I'm going to be more dependent on them than anything. Um, as I said in the previous video, uh, Grenadiers don't really do a lot, but we're still going to keep the same uh, kind of teammates that we have. We're going to go uh, with obviously one rifleman, one Grenadier, and a gunman. What we're going to be doing here is we're actually, um, there's different weapons that you can choose. Uh, I feel like going with the SCAR is like one of my favorite weapons, uh, so therefore we're going to go with the SCAR. It still allows you to aim down sights and have good, uh, good distance. Objective is to use your UAV to locate Ramirez's position. Changing position. Captain, this is a UAV. It is a remote-controlled scout drone that orbits the battle zone and can pinpoint enemy positions. Pay close attention. I am uploading the drone's commands to you now. 
Ramirez is somewhere close, Captain. Use the UAV to pinpoint his position. Just designate a spot on your tactical map. The UAV will begin scanning and move to that spot. Using the drone is pretty easy. You just need to press up to tell it where it needs to go. And then you need to press the LB button in order to be able to get it to actually go down into look mode. Uh, this, Or should I say detect mode. This will allow it to actually be able to see things around the map. Uh, but then you need, immediately need to let it go back up so that it doesn't uh, get killed. Contact! We have a visual on Ramirez! A roof just west of your position, Captain. He has Buku hostiles! On my way. Remember, sir, the drone can only scan at low altitude. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, at low altitude, it is vulnerable to enemy fire. Plus the fire! Sir, get Rebels down. are closing on the UAV's position. Get it to high altitude and bring it back to your position. Sir! It can take a little time to get used to controlling both the drone and your own squad mates, so you gotta constantly be pressing right and left on the D-pad to switch between Captain, them. Captain, Mitchell, you have a hostile convoy inbound on your position with position. multiple soft transport. It's your call. Take them or leave them. Of course, this is optional here, but go ahead and take them out. And we're going to use our teammates right. to help us out going with that. Hot. It's best to try to destroy them. So it might be a good option for you to actually come in with your uh, grenade launcher on, on mounted on your weapon. But then if you have a grenade launcher mounted on your weapon, you lose the ability to have zoomed in sights. And we like to snipe from far away. So uh, I prefer to rely more on as opposed to myself bringing in the grenade launcher, which would Fall be the optimal results for this. Regroup. But since you can't have a scope on it, when you have a grenade launcher in this game at Both least, lost. or for the weapons that I've seen on this first mission, uh, you can't do it. To me! Moving to you now, Captain. Now, there are multiple ways that you can flank enemies. But you don't always need to Move. in every situation. Sometimes it's good to stay with your AI teammates to make sure they don't get into any trouble. I'm here. This confused me a little bit because I thought the, the, the guy on the left who was in Back a prone position, I thought he was now. alive. But way. no, it's just that when, when you kill an enemy that's in a prone position like that, they will stay looking like they're trying to shoot you. So... I mean, it's 2006. Contact. My ultimate goal for this walkthrough is to make it to where none of my AI teammates go down. But I think that's going to be very, very difficult to do because we're going to be using our AI teammates a lot. And this is a very, very tough game. So I can't say for sure if that's going to happen. Let's go. But obviously, way, we're going to make sure that no AI teammates die. Because if you do wait too long in getting your teammates up, they can die. To me. So you need to be we'll careful to about now, that Captain. and you need to make sure that you go into every situation trying Area to figure cleared. out if you need to revive them, you should be able to. Now one thing to notice here is there's a lot of scripted moments. Like enemies won't appear until you get into a situation that you're close enough for their script to start working. Yes, uh, you'll notice that here as Move I have now. put my drone closer to where uh, these enemies are actually going to be here in a second. But no enemies will show up. Even though my drone is directly above where the enemies would be, that's because they're actually not on the map yet. This is designed that uh, it tries to save up on memory. Put your drone here, put it into um, detect mode, no enemies show up. But however, once you enter into this little area, all of a sudden the enemies will show up. Mitchell, this is General Keating. Your current mission is an abort. I say again, abort. Rebel forces have fired on President Valentine and his entourage. Possible coup d'etat in process. Collect your team and proceed immediately to Zocalo Plaza. Recovery of the President is now your primary objective. Move it, soldier! Roger that, General. On my way. So we're going to try to infiltrate a little bit at a time. These guys can kill you from very, very far away, and you have to be careful. So my suggestion is take a little bit at a time, Try to stay as far back and yes, take as many out as you can. Don't rush up. If you do so, you me. will die move, very, move, very move. quickly. Acknowledge, Captain. Especially on ultra-realistic mode. It's crazy. I've died quite a bit of times Attack. in this. No just shot. from no random bullets that you would never think would even be able to hit you, like, from under the train. So you gotta be careful. Luckily, this guy doesn't have a beat on us yet, so we can get a nice headshot in there.
to me. This game reminds Move me a lot now. of the game that came out before I'm this. Here called I'm Full here, Spectrum Warrior. Position. I don't know how many people actually played Full Spectrum Warrior, which was an amazing game. You didn't actually control individual um, characters, like you didn't control, you know, the exact precision of each shot. It was more of a top-down, you control the battlefield, you control your squad teammates moving from one location to another, but in a third-person way. And it was actually pretty fun. And this game, I can definitely sense uh, some of the same elements from that game, even though they were different studios at the time. I believe Full Spectrum Warrior was developed by Pandemic, which uh, uh, no longer is even a, a studio anymore, but they they did some great games back in the day. So uh, I get a lot of vibes from Full Spectrum Warrior when back I play Ghost me. Recon Moving Advanced to you Warfighter. Now. Again, we're going to keep continually move up slowly. As you can see, they can shoot you through uh, through the train and stuff like that, so you gotta do, you know, watch out. We're gonna move over to the right side here, because there is a guard that is, uh, he's stationary, he stays yes, pretty Captain. much behind Recruit. here, and you can kind of make your way up a little bit. Always watch your sight lines. Now again, same thing, the game is scripted so that some enemies aren't going to appear until you get close enough to that specific area. You still see these two enemies here, um, but once you get up into this building, then you're going to see like, you know, 20 enemies appear all of a sudden. So it's just, it's just the way of the, the nature of the beast, the hardware that it was using. This was very, very cutting edge technology back in 2006, but um, Back on me. I gotta say. You know, it's it's still amazing to look at. I can't believe a game that's this, this old still I'm looks here. this Holding good. Position. Even though I am playing it on the Xbox One, it's not enhanced or anything, but the game still looks really good. We're going to be getting support with a helicopter coming up, so I want to make sure move. I keep my boys alive. So we're going to get them into a position where they can uh, fire on the enemy but still remain decently behind cover. You're dead. Green light. Black Take the shot. Fire. Now your UA-60 can actually be shot down as well. Any type of green light. unit yeah, that green comes green. in and helps you can be taken out in the battlefield. So Take you do need shot. to be careful that you are using them in the correct shot. way. And I will try to show you guys that. And I don't want I don't want to have to lose anything if I don't have to. So we're always going to make sure that we are our situational awareness is uh, is used in every aspect of the game. Attack. All right. At this point, we just have a few more enemies to take out, and we need to make ourselves get to the roof. To me. Yes, We're going to be losing the support of the UH-60 here in a little bit. There is going to be a it. sneaky guard that's going to be coming out of Captain. the building up ahead. Move. Black Hawk move. And see, that's what I'm saying. See, even if you Our put position. your drones in places, until you get to that specific point, they won't spawn. Ah! So it's almost like, what's the point of having the drone? I guess it's for once you get close enough and they spawn in, then you can use the drone. But I feel in that situation it's already too late and doesn't make a lot of sense to me. 
but again, you know, it's a video game. It is what it is. Blackhawk 4 to Ghost Leader. We picked up Ramirez, severely injured. We need to evac now. Reach the roof for immediate extraction. Roger that. On my way now. Normally there's going to be guys here that are going to spawn, but they will not do it until you actually get a little bit closer. Regroup. So I hope this is not a reoccurring thing that happens in this game. I can't remember if it is or not, but now that you, now that I look back at it and see just how kind of the design was, um, I'm surprised I never noticed it really that much before. Multiple hostiles. Advance. On my way. So never just rush up into an area. Always make sure that you take your time before you just rush in. Because enemies will just down. randomly appear. In a script. Kind of Let's not randomly. Let's go! On my way! Move! 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 Area cleared! But that's going to be it as far as all the enemies and the end of the mission. Depending on if you did this all mission for the first time or if you're replaying the mission, I'm replaying this mission. So you're going to see a cut here up ahead which shows the cutscene. The cutscene doesn't play if you're replaying the mission. Uh, I, what I like to do is I like to um, to do the mission first. Sorry, learn, Captain, new orders. Gotta move. Then replay the mission and then do that as the walkthrough. That way I can make sure it's nice and smooth for you guys. So uh, normally here you would see exactly what you're seeing here um, because I edit it right there. Otherwise, you will not see that, and it will actually go into a statistic screen to tell you exactly how well you did or not, but it, it really doesn't mean anything. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It was my pleasure bringing this mission to you guys, and I'll bring plenty, plenty more as we lead up to the release of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Love you all. Thank you to the patrons out there that make it possible for me to continue to do what I love to do is make these videos for you guys. So think about becoming a patron as it truly helps. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.